Hi DIY friends, it's Shannon, the Daily DIYer, and recently I gave you a sneak peek into our big bedroom remodel. And if you missed that video, I will link that down below. Make sure to go check it out. You don't want to miss it. It is filled with amazing hacks and ideas for your bedroom using all Dollar Tree supplies. And if you follow me on Instagram, I've also taken you all along with me on this bedroom makeover. So you've seen some of it in real time, but nobody's seen the big finished picture until today. And I've said this before, I'm completely obsessed with before and afters. And this one is a pretty big one. You want to hang tight through the entire video. I'm going to show you the whole process. And then at the end, I'll show you that big before and after reveal. And I'm so excited to give you a tour of our space as well. So we're going to get started with this bedroom makeover right now. It was several years ago now that we took the plunge and got really brave and decided to paint our bedroom walls this beautiful dark navy blue color. I will link the color down in the description box below. And we did love it. However, recently we went on a vacation to Galveston, Texas, and we stayed in this gorgeous A-frame coastal beach house. And this definitely had more of the vibe of me and my husband. We were looking to kind of lighten and brighten things up. We love the beach and we decided we wanted to give our home also that coastal vibe. So we have slowly been renovating our 100 plus year old home and have learned a long time ago, the best way to start any project is to start at the top and work your way down. Which brings me to our very first project in this makeover, painting the ceiling. So we did invest in some really good heavy duty one coat coverage ceiling paint. I will make sure to link all the products that we're using down in the description box below to make it easy for you to find. This was great paint, highly recommend it. It was also the very first time we'd ever used scaffolding on a project and highly recommend that too. We have nine foot ceilings in our home. So this just made it so much easier to move around the space as we were painting. And next we need to tackle these dark blue navy walls. And I know a lot of paint says that it comes with primer in it and it does a pretty good job unless you are going from a dark color to a lighter color, which is what we're going to do here. So I didn't want to mess around with it at all. We bought this multi-surface stain blocking sealer and primer, and this is pretty heavy duty stuff. You can use it on different surfaces, not just walls. And so what I did is basically just painted on like regular wall paint, uh, used a really small brush, got into the corners and all the edges. And actually, yes, I do use paint brushes from Dollar Tree for this. They actually are really good quality. And especially I love the angled brushes. This is a one and a half inch size. I usually pick up several of these at a time, keep them in my painting stash so that I can grab one out when I need them. They're such a good deal and they're actually a really great quality and worth using. So once I got all of the edging done, just came in with a paint roller and rolled all of the primer onto those dark walls. This paint primer did such a good job of covering up that dark blue paint. It only needs one coat, but it does say to let it sit for a good four hours so it can dry before you come back in to do your wall color. Now the wall color that we're changing to is this gorgeous color called Trade Wind by Sherwin Williams. We wanted that coastal vibe, remember? So we picked a color that was kind of a blue green and this also went on really, really good. We used a thicker nap wall roller and that grabs more paint out of the pan which means it adds more coverage to the wall and it gives you more to then spread around i did a fun reel of this big transformation over my instagram that was super fun so you can see what a fun difference and what a pretty color this is. And then in this shot here, you can see over to the left, our navy blue wall, and that is a nice contrast. You can see the before and after, but stay tuned because we're ha we have something very special planned for that navy blue wall. The other two things we needed to paint in this room were the trim and also our pocket doors. We came in with more of our ceiling paint because we had so much that left over and it's a bright white color. You can see on the right is a coat of that bright white. The rest is the before. So there's definitely tones of white 
ones that have a more warm tone, ones that are more bright white. We are definitely wanting that bright white look. So this is the trim after I painted that as well. And then a little secret to your trim is to finish it off with some caulk. So this is Alix Fast Dry. This is our favorite caulk because it dries fast and you can paint over it once it's dry. My husband does this. He is so quick at it now. He puts it on, wipes it with his finger, smooths it into those cracks, and then this is what it looks like after. Nice, clean, and crisp. Another small detail but made a huge difference was changing out all of our outlets, the outlet boxes, and also all of the plates for the outlets and the light switches. Now we're gonna turn our attention to this navy blue wall that's left, basically because we are going to ship lap this wall. I feel like not only is this such a modern look, but it also has that coastal vibe too. So we just went to the hardware store and found some ship lap that was pretty much pre-made. We did have to cut around some outlets in this room, which we did with a multi-tool. And then we were able to add some full strips in there. And obviously we have a couple windows, so we have to do a little bit of cutting and fitting for those. A couple tips to remember whenever you are shiplapping is definitely have a level handy so you can make sure you are level all the way across before you start nailing. We did use a brad nailer with two inch long brad nails to attach these to the wall. You can also add some construction adhesive behind them if you want. That's going to keep them from rattling, coming loose, and make them permanent. Shiplap has such a nice texture to it, but it's still so neutral. And what I love most about it is it really goes up pretty quickly and you get that quick transformation. Once we had all the shiplap on the wall, we came in with some one and a half inch lattice trim. This is a plastic trim that we also use brad nails to attach to the wall. So we ran that all the way along the ceiling and the sides of the walls. I wanted to give you a good before and after of this wall. Of course, this is the before and then this is the after. Such a big change in difference. And this is after we have filled in all the nail holes and painted the trim and the shiplap. And at this point, our room was pretty much finished. We just get to do the fun part and that is bring in all the accessories. One thing we did do this time around was actually put in a felt floor pad. We really wanted this room to feel luxurious, like an Airbnb. So we added that extra little element. And let me tell you, I will never put another rug down without a felt pad under it. It really adds that extra soft cushion underneath it and makes it feel a little bit more luxurious. You just trim it down to size so it fits underneath. Another upgrade, and I am blaming my parents for this, they have one of the electric lift beds that has the vibration in it. It has a light underneath it, and they talked us into this. We really didn't think this was something that we needed, but now that we've had it for a good month, I don't know how we ever lived without it. We found it on Amazon. I will link it down below. It is amazing. We also purchased a really great mattress and I'll link this down below too. This video is not sponsored, but I do have a discount code. So check down below if you're looking for a new mattress. Another thing we did was we bought new sheets. That's just something that we like to do every year anyway. So we went ahead and bought some new sheets, one that had the more coastally vibe. Another big thing that we did was purchase new furniture. We haven't really had brand new good furniture ever, so why not do it in the midst of this big change? So we decided to swap out my husband's dresser with an armoire. We had the space on this wall. We needed more storage space as our room only has a small closet and this seemed to be a great fix. So this was the before of this wall and now here is a shot of the after with the new armoire that has so much more storage inside. We also found some affordable new pieces of furniture at Wayfair, our bed, our nightstands, and I also swapped out my dresser for this one. We decided to go from the black furniture to white to really lighten up the space. We also saved some money by instead of purchasing a new light, we just bought new shades for our existing light and then also purchased some new lamp shades in the same seagrass to really help pull the look together. And then it was all about paying attention to detail and adding all of those fun accessories. So we did add some of these mosaic boxes on top of a nightstand to add even more storage to the space. We also made sure that our nightstands had drawers in them to make sure we had storage there too as we lack it a lot in our home. Every little space helps. 
We also added that personal touch. This is a photo of me and my husband in Galveston on that trip when we stayed in that coastal Airbnb. And then just adding lots of texture with pillows. The pillows are actually from Amazon and I'll link those down below. We also kept our original bedding as I loved it so much. One of the details I love about this new furniture is they have feet on them. That kind of gives the illusion that there's more space in our bedroom. And then also adding some candlesticks, a jewelry box, and then a decorative coral piece on top of my dressers. This vanity was really important for me to keep in this space as I use it every single day. So we moved it over to where my dresser used to be. I purchased a new mirror with light in it since I don't have the natural light of the window now. And this is gonna be an upcoming project. So I hope to paint this desk or table and also spray paint the handle to match the brass mirror. The pocket doors also got a little bit of a makeover in addition to a fresh coat of paint. We also were able to remove the old hardware, which was hard to see in the last picture because it was painted over white, but we took those off, stripped them down and spray painted them with some brass spray paint. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for the big before and after reveal. So of course this is the before and now of course the after. It is such a big change. Even though we didn't add or change too much, the biggest thing in this room was the wall paint. So we went from this cozy, moody vibe into one that is just so bright, so clean and so crisp now. I am just absolutely loving it, even though we still really love the navy blue too. It's just such a nice, clean, fresh update. Not just the blue on the walls, but also just adding that bright white paint to the trim, the doors and the ceiling just cleaned everything up so, so nicely. I love, love, love the addition of the shiplap wall. It adds so much texture to the space. And one of my signature things to do in our home is just to add a lot of texture versus a lot of patterns. You can see there's a lot of contrast between the softness of the wood of the rug compared to the wood of the bed, the white nightstands contrasting against the wood bed, also the glass and lamps in our little vase, adding some greenery in there with some palm leaves. We're not quite done yet. This corner of the room, I need to add something to the wall or this corner. If you guys have ideas, please leave those down in the comments below. I would love to hear your ideas. And the one other thing we are going to do is add a new door, which is right next to my vanity. It's going to match those closet doors. We have it but if you've ever installed doors before, you know how hard that can be, especially in an old home that is not level or even. So one of these days we'll get around to it. But for now, I am so happy with the way this room turned out. It is so elegant and right in line with that coastal vibe that we were going for. I will have all the products and supplies used in this video linked down in the description box below. And if you'd like to head over and watch that bedroom hacks video, I'll have that popping up on your screen. You can click over and watch next. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one.